hospital workers. Its members are finding bodies in some unexpected places. Laura McQuillan is on the story. Like where? Yeah, the union representing these workers says they are finding bodies in places like patients' rooms, parts of the emergency department, even conference rooms. None of these rooms are refrigerated, and that's mm -hmm. one of the concerns here. The union saying that workers like housekeepers are startled because they're walking into rooms and finding bodies covered with sheets. Uh, our colleague Hilary Johnstone in Ottawa has been doing the legwork on this, and she spoke to that union, QP. They say this is a problem going back a month, and it's been getting worse. Uh, at one of the campuses of the Ottawa Hospital beginning in December, and then a second one having problems as well, just not enough space for bodies that should be in the morgue. We spoke to that union and here's what they told us. A lot of the housekeepers go up to the floors and they go into the conference rooms and they're caught off guard when they walk in and there's a body that's been covered up. Uh, they don't know how long it's been in there. Last September, Alberta launched an investigation after photos emerged of bodies being stored in refrigerated trailers rented by the coroner's office. I've been receiving calls from other groups that um, are responsible for moving the patients around, the dead bodies around. Um, they're starting to get worried because after a period of time there is an odor from uh, the body itself. In early December, workers at two hospital facilities started complaining to the union, telling Lou Burry the morgues were full. The beginning of December, it was pretty cold in Ottawa, so they would leave the doors open to keep the, uh, the room refrigerated, makeshift refrigeration if you like. Burry was also told of bodies kept in patient rooms and parts of the ER. I couldn't understand why this was happening. Um, there's just, I, I don't understand why it is happening. 